feel like I'm going to have a special meal here. I'm there you excited. Go. Astronaut food. It's the future. <laughs> Cheers to space food. <laughs> Keeping astronauts healthy on long missions in space presents many challenges, and food is a big one. Fanon Bagley is the co-founder of Nonfiction, a design firm that is one of several finalists in a NASA and Canadian Space Agency competition called the Deep Space Food Challenge. So going to Mars is going to take two and a half, three years round trip, and uh, astronauts can only eat so many freeze-dried, rehydrated <laughs> food uh, before they go crazy. So what are some of these greens that we're seeing here? Yes, so this is an aeroponic garden, so you can see some baby bok choy, you can see some like butter greens. Nonfiction calls this a culinary lab. It's a working mock-up of a modular unit that can fit into a spacecraft. It grows food, has a coffee maker, and can even grill meat. As we all know, open fire is frowned upon in space. So right, yeah, Avo let's avoid that, right? right? <laughs> so what we decide to do is to use um, basically microwave to heat up the meat and then to essentially draw the grill pattern on the protein using laser. It makes this piece of chicken look a lot more appetizing, right? Space barbecue. Space barbecue. This part of the culinary lab is what nonfiction calls munch. It's a bioreactor that grows algae that can be harvested and eaten by the astronauts. So what we do is that we extract these little disks of microalgae and then eventually we get a lot of it. Mm -hmm. And then this smells terrible and it doesn't taste great, but it's very nutritious. So what we do is that to hide the flavor, we actually mix it with a lot of different types of uh, ingredients here. You are in a silicon bag and then you mix it up and then it ends up as balls like this. So one thing to know about food in space is like your taste buds are not functioning the same way as they are when you're on the surface. The food that we give astronauts is actually quite pungent mm -hmm. for them to even feel anything. Right, Yeah. so, so good strong flavors, right? It's, it's not gonna be subtle. <laughs> mm. It's not bad, right? It smells really good. That's delicious. I right? can absolutely, I can eat this all the time. Mm -hmm. That's really good. The preparation, taste, and appearance of food can have real psychological benefits for astronauts. And like many people, they're going to need their morning coffee. On top of being just coffee, we can make it extremely nutritious, right? So what we can do here is add coffee powder. I'm gonna add two different types of fats. Here I have MCT oil, uh, which is made from coconuts. Mm -hmm. And then I have ghee, which is basically a shelf-stable form of butter. Yeah. Oops. And I'm gonna add lecithin, which is kind of like a um, emulsifier. Mm -hmm. All right, I'm gonna give it a try. Oh my god, and the smell! The smell so good. That's delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow, space coffee. I, I could not imagine it would be that creamy and that foamy and that delicious. I like space coffee. All right, thank you. <laughs>